Yo, welcome Frony. So today we're going to take a look at trades. I will explain you all the basics that you need to know about that system. And then in the second part, we will go a bit deeper on how you can actually manage to farm all those trades as a free to play player, adequate pace and the little tips and tricks that you can do there to get more efficiency out of it. Because you are daily capped with some resources and you have to figure out your ways to sneak past those caps. So first we need to understand which trades are actually possible. So if we're clicking on any item and we're going to the trade list icon right here, we will see what trades are able to be on that item. Important to note is that not every item is having the same options of trades that can be possible on them. So you need to choose your items for your build based on the normal effects that the item has. So here it would be dexterity and bonus damage, but also on the trades that you're able to get. Maybe an item has good stats, but not the trades that you need for your build to excel and it, therefore it might be useless on the right side you will always see what kind of items you can feed into it to actually get that value so you will see the whole list right here if you have a um, blue item and you would feed in a green item you would have 10 percent success chance if you're having a purple item and you're feeding in a blue one also 10 percent but if you're feeding in the same quality so either blue and blue green and green or purple and purple you will have a 100 success chance and the trade menu you can open by equipment enchanting going to the trade and then let's say we are selecting this head right here and you will see now that ranged evasion is already unlocked i have here one with ranged evasion one lower tier so if i would put that in here i would have a 10 percent success chance to upgrade this tier it is like this that on green gear you have two tiers that you can upgrade if it's blue you have three and on purple you will have four you're seeing here that one piece is currently locked and to unlock this I will actually need the same gear with the stat that I want. So I would need another Ghost Wolf Alter Ego Mask gear with Magic Evasion, for example, for my build. And I need to drop this. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Option number two is you're using um, unlock stones. So that means you can farm trade unlock stones in certain options and that will allow you to actually choose exactly what you want. So here I could choose my magic evasion, I could choose cooldown speed and then I would just pay for it. Option number one. Then you also have the option here, mana region is actually something that I do not want to have on that item and you can actually change that up. So here we are choosing unlock stones and also trade conversion stones and we can change change one of the traits that we have into something else. This is like the basics. Then we are also having a system that is called blessings. That means every time we are doing an attempt, we have the option to stack up our blessing. And blessing is like a pity system. So for, you can basically take the blessing times two and you will know what the added percentages that you're getting. So if you're pressing the use blessing button right here, you're seeing I now have an 18% chance to succeed with the upgrade instead of 10. Important here is never use use your blessing if it's not giving you all the way up to a 100% success chance. And the next thing is, you always have to make sure that you're checking the prices of what you're doing. Sometimes it is way better to buy like blue gear and have multiple tries on it instead of buying a purple one and getting it one try. I have prepared something in the auction house. You will see here, I made it up on the PLS Rampage crossbar as an example, because there's different kind of items that you can buy and you need to evaluate those prices. So if you're buying a peerless bow for 600, you could get a 100% guaranteed upgrade or you could unlock a trait that you do not have yet. If you're buying an extract of the weapon, you can then upgrade the trait of that extract. So if we're looking at one, let's say that one has max health, you want to upgrade max health. So you can buy that and only on this weapon, you can do 150 health upgrade on the trait with 100% success chance. If you go buying the real weapon as a crossbow, you can actually use that on all other crossbows to upgrade that stat. It's not limited to the weapon. Option number three is a little craft. This will allow you to craft a weapon with a random trait that you might can use then. And the other option is that you're actually buying blue crossbows. So let's say we want to upgrade hit on the crossbow. Then you will go to weapons, crossbow. You will check here, they're all cheap. No? So we're just taking one as an example. And you would buy those here for 10 lucent. That will then give you each time the blessing if you're failing if you're lucky 
fine. Right? If not, you're stacking up. And if you see the prices here, if we would do this, it would be like 100 Lucent, 120 Lucent. Right? Like it's not a lot of Lucent in comparison to buying this one to trade. So for leveling up, always make sure that you have calculated that buying the, the lower grade rarities is not cheaper than the higher grade tiers. And then there's one special thing about trades. Once you manage to fully trade an item, like that crossbow right here, you will unlock the resonance effect. I've already made a video about explaining how to use the resonance effect the most efficiently. It's on my channel, you should go and check it out. Because now we're gonna go over the ways on how to actually get a lot of trades from. Your major progression system that is sadly kept daily are the dungeons right here, the level 50 dungeons. Those are kept by the dimensional contract tokens, which means you're getting 900 each day. You can only open three dungeon run chests in the end and you will not have more. Lots of people probably don't like to hear that, but um, if you are free to play, you do not have the luxury to play only one character. You would actually need Need to make two alts to be able to get those runs going on the different account as well because if you do them on all three characters on your account the lucent will be shared through all of them so you can do it on the other account you will not be able to use the trades directly but you can earn lucent to buy more trades in the auction house this way the next thing you want to be doing is every time you're having close to 20,000 contract tokens you want to go into one of those open world dungeons like the temple of silef or one of those others like probably the highest that you are able to defeat and you will go in there with the golden apple pie active because this buff food is increasing the token efficiency by 10% so you're basically getting 10% more loot and in those dungeons you will be able to farm lots of trades for your items. Another option that you're doing is at the contract coin merchant where we are having the blessing pouch that you should always buy because this has, gives you the chance of items and also it gives you the ability to drop even more contracts to keep farming and I guess you're getting the idea. Another good way to actually get trades going is the rare special weapon selection chest at the guild merchant where you can go and get those blue items like i just said with the trades and if you have enough points no, there's no reason to stop you the only thing you should make sure is that um, the trade conversion stones that you have enough to buy those every week as well often you will have the option in the auction house to buy an item with a bad trade really cheap and if it's like an item that you do not own yet and you just want to trade it this sometimes gives you a cheaper version of the item overall because those you can farm for free you're not spending any extra loosened on them so now let's say you're having a really expensive item we're just acting like that one here is really expensive you will go to littercraft and you will select that item and with the precious blank littercraft that you can also get via the contract coin merchant by buying the enchanted ink you will have the option to turn this one back into a crafting version and you can recraft it this will allow you to re-roll without using trade conversion stones one of the trades of your items but you have to invest the materials to recraft it again this is especially used in really high value items like let's say for example you are having a arch boss weapon you would actually turn that into a little craft and recraft it if you are getting insanely lucky and you will get a great success then that weapon will be able to be sold at the auction house and you still have one version for yourself so i think you're getting the idea you have massive value in lucent if you're doing this with high level gear and you can farm the materials that you need for crafting really easy but don't worry there will be guides on the channel soon that explain you how to do the precious polish crystal and the magic powder and all of that how to get that fast so now that we have already talked about arch boss weapons i want to give you one last tip do not waste your trade conversion stones or your trade unlock stones blindly save them only for the most expensive gear and keep in mind that if you are supposed to get an arch boss weapon you will see on the dagger here it already costs 100 unlock stones if you are getting that on the arch boss weapon it will be 200 so if you're getting unlucky you do not have a good trade roll at the start it will take you 600 unlock stones to fully trade that weapon and of course you also have to upgrade it right but 600 to fully trade it so use those stones really wisely and don't waste them on, on any low level tier one gear that you are just getting 
just because you're impatient and you do not want to wait two days. And now that we have come to the point of patience, this is the most important part as a free-to-play player. This is probably also what most people are not going to like about those tips here is you need patience. If you want to play PvP as a free-to-play player, the first month will feel really miserable. Like all the whales can stack all the evasion they want on their gear without having to farm all of them. You will have a really bad time. So I would recommend not jumping right in, being patient, selling almost everything that you have in the early game, stack up that loosen count, be basically turn yourself into a free-to-play whale by stacking that loosen. Don't waste it on the high prices. After one month, the prices will go low. I'm not talking about like maybe 10% lower, I'm talking about sometimes factor 4 or 5 lower. It it's worth the wait. And after one month, with all the loots and the tricks that you just learned and all the stuff that you farmed, you will then be able to almost instantly trade your gear with the evasion that you need to participate properly in PvP. Yeah, guys, if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.